Welcome back to another episode of FetCraft. I just want to do a short recording here of um, the endothermic pump I have going in the uh, in the nether. Um, and I'm making some more fluid storage right now just to facilitate that pumping. Uh, it, it sucks the lava up quickly. And it is not messing around. Really? 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 Gotta save that stuff so quick. These things are actually fairly expensive uh, to make these uh, fluid storage devices. But here's another one. I'm only doing the 16k. I should uh, 64k. I guess is. I should just be doing those. But right now, all I can really afford is this one more of these 16k's. And um, as you can see here have two kilobytes, uh, uh, two kilo buckets, not pipes, two kilo buckets, that's two thousand buckets of lava, and it's probably stopped, because this is probably filled up down here, and here I wanted to show you my new, um, the area where I'm protecting the drive system, and I also got the IO port up there too, this is where I'm putting the drives, oh, it's not full, but it's, Stop for some reason. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder why it stopped. I'll put that in anyways. Let's go see if we can determine why it stopped. Maybe, maybe it's a power issue because all these things are going right now too. Oh, and I'm running out of brine. I gotta go, oh, I know now, I gotta turn the brine back on back up here, and we'll go to another in a second, let me, let me flip the brine back on, so I have two test racks, this one's basically just doing the lava, and this one's doing the brine, um, because I couldn't get them to, here we go, there's some brine flowing now. I couldn't get them to, uh, oh, that's where exactly where I wanted to be, huh, I could, I'll put the block back on, but I couldn't get the, this, the, the import bus to do just lava, so it was sucking out brine and lava into the system, and it was putting, because this thing was doing the lava and the brine, it was putting some of the lava down the pipe and filling up my drums below with lava, which I do not want. Okay, we're not getting any more brine. We're getting that. Uh, let me go check that, and then we'll go investigate why it stopped pulling the lava when we go to the nether. Yeah, see, now these are filling up, well, this one's going to fill up with brine first, but these will fill up with brine again and keep this whole very loud operation going. Let me just take one more look-see. Six, yeah, it stopped at 6,000. I wonder if there's a limit to how much of one fluid you can store no matter how much. Yeah, good job. Walk back up here when the nether portal's down here. Good job. I'm not thinking. There you go. I'm wondering if there's some kind of like it just won't it won't do more than two thousand buckets or kilo yeah. Oh look at that thing go. Did it reach some kind of limit? Do I have to move it now? I mean that may be the case. It may just have to be moved every once in a while. I wish it gave you some feedback doesn't give you any feedback at all either. Hey guys, how you like your new island? No, no, gas, you go away, I'm working here. Well, I'm just gonna move the sucker over. Let's see if that's what it is. Oh crap. Thing that was uh, not the 
bottom of there. So we're going to move this over here. From what I read, it doesn't actually need to be in the lava. It just can be on the same layer as the lava, so to speak. So we're going to try it that way this time. Put there. Put the tesseract on top, which should still... I wish that's the lava there. Lava, good. Sending, no. I want... I want that blocked, although it doesn't matter. Fluid mode, send, energy receive. And then, it doesn't suck the energy at the bottom. You need to put the conduits on like so. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you have a nice lava bath over there. Uh, see, it doesn't appear to be going. See how bad of a shot I am. It's laggy. To, oh, I'm not a bad shot. Was that a tear? Oh, did it fall in the lava? It fell in the gosh darn lava. Yeah, I said gosh darn. What of it? Yeah, it doesn't appear to be going now for some reason. I'm not sure why exactly that is. Lava 321. Sending fluid, receiving energy. That's how it was set up. Well, let's go back to the base and see what may be screwed up there. Hey guys. Nice day. Nice weather we're having, eh? Can't record much longer because I'm actually running out of space on the drive, which gonna have to address here shortly. God, so loud! Okay, so... This thing's still hooked up. Turn that to 250. Can it... Is that the limit? Can it not store more than two, two kilo buckets of any one fluid? If so, that's kind of dumb. Why does it do that when I hover? That doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. That kind of makes fluid storage, mm, I don't know about worthless, but... There's no reason why that shouldn't be working. It's getting power. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to have to look and see if there's a max. But you can see what it was doing. It, it replaces the lava that it sucks up with stone. Either smooth stone or sometimes cobblestone. It seems random. But it seems to be most, mostly smooth stone that it, it replaces it with and uh, just sucks it up in here into the fluid system and I could just put buckets in here and get lava back out of it if I want but I could also take a bucket and put lava back in oh yeah that's how that works oh look and I can apparently you know, a little lag going on there yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. We'll have to investigate further, but you, you got the idea. So, uh, thanks for watching another very short episode of Fetcraft in the Rain. Bye-bye.